Welcome back YouTube for another quick unboxing and first impressions. Jump right into it. This is uh, actually a package from Saddleback Leather. Alright. And I just did an unboxing and first impressions of my extra large briefcase that I received from them um, last week. And I was so impressed with the quality of the leather I went ahead and made this purchase. See what comes in the package here. It's just a piece of paper. It looks like my packing slip. It's my receipt. Okay. All right, put that to the side. So that's all that comes in the uh, the package there. Nothing else. Empty. Um, I went with the uh, United States Postal Service priority shipping and it got here actually in three days all the way uh, from Texas to New York so that was pretty quick. Alright so this is the medium bifold um, tobacco brown I believe it's called. We have it. I'll go ahead and take it out of this packaging here. I heard uh, reviews online of how thick it is but you know what? It actually is not as thick as I thought it would be. I mean it's definitely not a thin wallet but it looks nice. Alright, so it's got the pigskin leather. See that there? Um, saddle back here on the side. Or lower corner, lower, lower right corner. Um, looks like they have a business card of theirs here. Their business card. Dave Munson, Presidente, San Antonio, Texas. Alright guys, so we're a little closer here. Let's take a look at that stitching. Looks great. So it holds one, two, three cards on each side. Total six cards plus interior spaces there, there as well. Uh, pigskin lining here in the middle. Uh, I heard earlier models didn't have the pigskin. It was just leather, and it would have that uh, crease in the center. Um, but it looks like they put pigskin there, so it just since it is a stress point within the wallet, it'll make it last a bit longer. Okay, and take a look at the inside there again. Pigskin all the way through makes it nice and durable. And I noticed this model does not have the dog that's usually on this corner here. I've seen on other uh, YouTube reviews, which I guess I'm kind of lucky because. I know a lot of people were complaining about it. It made it look a little too commercial. So that's awesome that this one came without that. And it just simply has the uh, Saddleback logo right there in the corner. Saddleback leather. Alright, so let's go ahead and um, pop. Oh, okay, so that's cool. I haven't noticed this in other reviews, but... Um, since it folds like that, it doesn't fold directly down on the uh, tabletop. You see, maybe with time, as the leather gets softer, it will. But it looks like right now it does not, which is cool. That's fine. It's not like I always carry my wallet like that anyway. All right, so I'll just show you my current wallet I've been carrying around for a few years. Actually, this is uh, another. Wilson's Leather. I guess that was my previous leather retailer, Wilson's Leather. That was my previous um, briefcase as well as my previous wallet. We have there, I don't know if you could catch that, Wilson's Leather. Um, so I like the Slim. Um, don't really like carrying cash around with me. Uh, just gets rid of that temptation if I'm somewhere and if I don't have cash, I'll more likely not buy it. If I really need it, just peel my card, no problem. Alright, so um, it holds quite a few cards along with my business cards and uh, cards here as well. So I'll go ahead and cut and just show how it looks like once it's filled with some, some of my cards here. Okay, so I've gone ahead and loaded it up with my cards and a uh, little bit of cash as well. Dollar dollar bills y'all. Yep, there we go. Ballin'. And um, I did have to 
sort of push it in there at first. Um, Cause it's, like I said, it's straight from the factory. With, with time and age, it'll stretch. Um, but yep, got my cards here. And as well as a few cards inside there as well. I did have some business cards in here, but I think it was making it too thick. I mean, you could see already how it's sitting right now. I mean, it is a bulky wallet. Don't get me wrong. It is bulky. Especially uh, coming from my thin wallet, which held the exact same amount in here. Um, I have my business cards here. Actually, let me go ahead and pop my... This is how many I carry around with me. I'll go ahead and pop it in here real quick. So there we go. I got my business cards in there. And look how much bulkier it makes it. So I want to take those out. I mean, I'll tell you what, I'm not, to be totally honest, I'm not that impressed as I was with the uh, briefcase. And I see a line here. The reason it has that line is because when you open it up, you see how it has that crease there. Because of the way it's sewed. Is there so now when you close it, the crease is still there. There's the crease, close it, it's still there. Um, like I said, don't get me wrong, definitely a quality wallet. And um, as compared to this wallet, as you can see from the inside, I mean, it's fabric here. That's where it was tearing. Um, I mean, I've had this, like I said, I've had this wallet for... Oh, how long have I had this wallet? Probably about seven, eight years, actually. But then again, I take very good care of my stuff. And um, I'll probably stay with this as my main wallet. I'll keep this. Like I said, it has the 100-year warranty. And with age, it will definitely start looking better. But... I also wanted to show you how this is completely made out of leather. There is no fabric in it. This backing, usually they'll have the fabric here in uh, lots of wallets. But nope, it's uh, hard leather. Each and every pocket. Hard leather down there. As well as uh, this side. Hard leather. So this entire wallet is pure leather. No fabric involved, which gives it that 100 year warranty. All right, so we're back and I'm actually going to, pro uh, well, not probably, but I will be returning this because um, it looks like there is a pretty big defect on it. This shadow that's being caused right here, or this the leather not being able to lie flat is because of the way that it's cut and sewn together. As you can probably see, this edge right here is higher in this edge, you can probably see the distance from the thread to the second piece of leather here. It's almost non-existent, it almost overlaps where as it goes to the other side, it's a much larger distance from the thread to the second piece of leather right here. So due to that being sewn at different heights, it's not allowing the leather to lie flat when it's closed that's causing this huge crease here. I thought it was because maybe the way it's shipped but no it turns out it's because of the way it's sewn on here. You see those differences. Alright so I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, today is Sunday so I'll be reaching out to Saddleback Leather tomorrow morning, Monday morning. Um, I think that's when, uh, when they're open and seeing exactly what their policy is to exchange this. Um, 
hopefully it'll end. I'll keep you guys updated on what exactly that process is. Hopefully, when I called them a couple weeks ago about my briefcase, they informed me that and it was simply a matter of them emailing me a return label for free. I send it back and, and they either give me credit or they send out a new one. Okay, so but I'll keep you guys updated. Bye-bye.